My name is Chris Kiak, and I'm the Technical Director at R11 Steel Detailing and BIM Services. Today, we're going to detail a beam in five minutes. And I'm going to accentuate and show off the power of experienced 3D steel detailing. Now, every once in a while, I like to remind myself of what it takes to actually detail a beam the old-fashioned way. Now, I drew this using a book as a straight edge here, um, and if you actually look closely, you'll see a couple of newbie errors on what I did here in the detailing, but this took me about 20 minutes to actually sketch out from scratch. Now, what's interesting is I always like to do this because it shows where we came from and how fast and how efficiently we can detail today. So what I'm going to show off here is that in less than five minutes, I'm going to detail a beam, show all the framing members here in the model of what's connecting to it and what it's connecting to, and then I'm going to automatically create the 2D drawing. And again, I'm going to do all of this in less than five minutes. All right, let's get started. We'll double click on the grid. We'll put in a 20 foot bay here for the work point length of this beam. We'll then go to our beam properties and let's go ahead and model in a W18 by 35. We'll then pick those points, and now that's the center to center of our beam. We'll go ahead and say W24 by 55 will be the girder on the right-hand side of the beam. So we'll just model that. That's what we're framing to. And then what we'll do is we'll go to the column properties. Now, let's go ahead and say that we're going to do a W12 by 53. We'll apply those settings, put the column in the model. And let's say that we're actually going to the uh, column flange. So we'll go ahead and set this to below, press OK. Now let's go ahead and put in a couple of in-framing beams here. So let's go to W12 by 14 and press Apply. Now we basically want to have three equal spaces, so two beams are going to frame into this. We'll go to the Edit menu and we'll just come in here to Points, Online. We'll set two points here that we're going to divide the work point here along the bay. Then what we'll do is we'll apply the beam properties, go back to Steel tab, and let's just model in a beam here. I'll then copy these, so that way we can easily just take this to each of those work points. And then let's just copy here. And then if we want to, let's say that this beam here is going to be a W16 by 26, something just slightly different. All right, now we have the main framing here in our model, and we're about just about two minutes in. All right, let's go ahead and apply some connections. Let's activate our clip angle connection. We'll select the column and the beam, and then we'll interrupt here. And we can see that the clip angles are applied, the welds are all done, the beam has been cut back to half the depth plus the connection clearance, all the bolts and holes match between the beam and the column, and everything is pretty much set there for that connection, all within a few seconds. Let's go ahead and apply the shear plate connections. We'll pick the beam and then the secondary. And here again, within seconds, the copes are all put in. The shear tab is appropriately placed on the supporting member. All the bolts are there. The weld for that particular shear connection is all set. And everything that we need to basically detail this beam has now been applied. Again here, the cope has been applied. Let's even change this girder to match the beam size. What would have taken a few minutes to manually look up in the AISC manual, figure out the copes, and apply those on a hand drawing is now done here within seconds. If I need to modify anything, we can open up the dialog box here. We can change the edge distance, the number of bolts, anything that we want beyond the defaults here. We can then even specify the weld size if we need to. So we can just look up which is the uh, number five weld. We're welding the shear tab here. We could change and override that weld size if we'd like to and modify those components. Any of these settings that we do for these connections, we can save away and reuse all these inputs on additional beams that we detail. Now I'm going to tell Tecla Structures to automatically piece mark and look at all the materials, find the like pieces, and assign quantities and piece marks to these. Go to Drawings and Reports. We're just going to go ahead and say Perform Numbering here. Now all those pieces have been combined that are like, and we're only about four minutes in. Let's go ahead and create the assembly drawing. We'll select a beam. We'll go to Drawing Properties, Assembly Drawing. 
will load up Beam with Bill of Materials settings. Here all of these things are set up by default, which control how our drawings are dimensioned and labeled. We'll apply those settings. We'll say Create, Assembly Drawing. Now here within seconds, we have a shop drawing automatically created for us. We'll go to the drawing list. We'll open up that drawing here. And now we can quickly see the entirety of the bill of material, all the piece marks, welds, section cuts, everything's done for us. And if there's a little bit of cleanup that needs to be done, like for instance here, we can grab all these welds. We can right click and say merge. So that way it just gives us one nice clean symbol. We can easily do so. Now here we are, a full shop detail done in less than five minutes. Now no fabricator wants mismatches between their bill materials and drawings, dimensional busts, and issues that cause fabrication and field fit up errors. So reach out to us in order to get good, experienced 3D steel detailing. We're here to help ensure that your projects stay on schedule and within budget.